the promo poster for Great Ocean Road. This is like, this is it. Well, Lawn looks to be a bloody charmer. Whoa, this is just to get in. Road trip! So we've finished up in the CBD and it's time for the Great Ocean Road. Which is one of the most iconic roads or road trips in Australia, in the, in the world. Is it in the world? I feel like a lot of people know this, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm excited. Yeah, so we finished up our time in the CBD, which was awesome to explore. We've come back out to the airport because that was the cheapest place to pick up a rental <laughs> car. So we've got the car so that we can explore starting right now in the rain. With coffee. Of course. Right, stop number one. This, this is Torquay, the gateway to the Great Ocean Road. So we skipped ahead the hour that it takes to drive from Melbourne yeah, out to here. Now we're on the coast, this is where wow. it all begins. Whoa, Shit, whoa, look at those whoa, whoa, waves, whoa. those are mint. So Torquay is known for its surf beaches and stuff, and also Rip Curl and Quicksilver, was it? Yeah, they I think so. They were born here, those brands were born here. Oh, it's fun. I just got really excited being by the coast and being like, this is where the ocean begins and the road trip starts. It's also different. Like, look at the colour of the rocks and stuff. Yeah. Like, I think if you're from New Zealand, this place reminds me of Mount Monganui. Yep, I get what you mean. It's the same kind of vibe. Surfy. You can imagine in the summer, it's just like cranky. Humping here. All right, it's the beach. Nice to lie. I just wanted to get there first and just tick yeah. that off, see the beach. When see you're doing the like. Great Ocean Road, you gotta go see the ocean. I know. We gotta go and find the Great Ocean Road side now, but before yes. that, let's get some food. Yeah, we're gonna go to a place called Pond Cafe. Um, a lot of people on Instagram recommended this place. Really? And I never look. I never know. I never look at menus. I've no idea. Well, I've looked at the menu, of <laughs> course, and I know that they've got avocado on toast, and that's what I want. Booyah! Let's do it. Look at that. That is a lot of avo toast. <laughs> Yum! What did you get? So this is a bricky burger. That oh, that's looking too. fire too. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> awesome spot, just sitting right here, right across the ocean. If you've never heard of the Great Ocean Road, you're totally missing out. It's an iconic drive along the southwest coast of Victoria, running from Torquay to Allensford, covering about 250 k's. It's one of the world's most scenic coastal drives for good reason. Stunning beaches. Wow! It's really beautiful. Winding coastal roads, charming towns, wildlife in their element. Not as if you go to plan, is it? <laughs> and the most recognisable stop, the 12 Apostles. Whoa. <laughs> I think I feel like I'm not actually here yet. It feels quite surreal. The road is actually the world's longest war memorial, built by returning World War I soldiers in memory of those who lost their lives at war. We didn't want to rush the trip, so we're splitting it into four days with a vlog each day, kicking things off with the drive from Torquay to Apollo Bay. What a crazy blue. It is really blue. I think it also helps that the sky is blue. Yeah. Wow. So from what we from what we can tell, it seems like there's a little a little town almost every 10 minutes or so. Yeah, at we've the just, moment. Where are we? Anglesey now. So we're not if that far from Torquay. Yeah. Yeah, and there's just loads of different cafes, restaurants, uh, like there's a crepe place, and gelato. Like it's you the could, chocolate um, factory. Oh yeah. Chocolate shop that we went past. We could have done a food tour along along the road. To be <laughs> honest, there is that many options. But we thought we'd just pull in and just stop. I wonder if this is going to be one of those trips though, where the view gets better as you go, and so you stop every ten minutes, and then by the end you're like, oh, this is better than the first one. But shit, yeah. we just We've got we no just keep really. driving. <laughs> Where are we, Boo? Split Point Lighthouse. This is a light, a working lighthouse, but now, I'm shocked by that because yeah, a lot of the ones we visit these days are not. They're just not operational, but this one still is. But it's an automated system that um, keeps it going. Um, it used to be called Eagle's Nest uh, Lighthouse. 
what I was going to tell you, it was built in the 1800s, it's really picturesque, you can actually do tours as well, like you can go inside the lighthouse on a tour. There's people up there, yeah. Yeah, those must be people on a tour. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, you can go out onto the little balcony area and see that, what I'm assuming is amazing views. Yeah. This is just one of the first sort of, um, other than just the view, is just one of the most like iconic sort of landmarks as part of the first part on the stretch of the, of the Great Ocean Road anyway. I tell you, there's some Ooh, stunning la la. houses go? around here. Ooh, look at that architecture. Damn. That's from wow. the block. That's beautiful. <laughs> This is some nice walks, 120 meters for a lookout point, Boo. Oh yeah? There's a lookout somewhere. Just looking at the, um, the inside of it. Oh shit. So I'm if you do the tour. Oh man, I'd get dizzy doing that. <laughs> I got sore knees. <laughs> Let's just come out here. Of all the stops along the way, I think this is the one that you absolutely have to do. Otherwise, did you even visit the Great Ocean Road? The archway itself is actually a memorial to commemorate the soldiers that lost their lives while they were building the road. And then beside it, there's also um, an awesome statue that shows the that shows digging. Them digging. I, I think they're handing water or something between them. I don't know, but it's really impressive. <laughs> As you can see, it's the spot to be to get like that final photo, or maybe it's kind of the first initial yeah. photo before you really start to get deep into it. Mm. You see now up through here? Yep. Yeah, yeah, up through this side here. I Whoa. can't see, I'm, I'm at a weird angle. Ugh, it's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's way bigger than I oh, thought it was going to be. I'm glad I missed it. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's so peaceful here, but then just all you're going to hear is me just screaming. Look. I don't know if you can tell on the GoPro, you see that cable through there? I want to see someone go on it. That is called the shock wave and that is the most extreme zip line in Australia. It's over 500 meters long. Apparently it's just all powered by gravity and the footage that I've seen looks fast. So that's the excitement done. <laughs> this is Livewire Park in Lawn. Before we go and have beer and pizza, we thought we'd get a little bit extreme first because yeah. there's so much beauty along the Great Ocean Road, but we want to mix it up a bit, don't we? Yeah, well, it's nice to get, we've seen the ocean and now it's nice to be in under the trees. So they've got all sorts of things here. There it is, so there's the shockwave. That's a zip coaster, 525 meters long. There's a, there's a ropes course, well, there's a couple of different ropes courses by the looks of it. And didn't you say something about a trampoline or something, Boo? Yeah, you see the top where it's within the ship. Oh, okay, so then you get one hour access to the spring circuit, which you can walk around do the canopy uh, walk as well, and trampoline. All right. So you're committed, you're gonna do it? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm still deciding. <laughs> I feel shy. No. So with that general admission, at least, uh, you do get to walk up and around the canopy, which is amazing, by the way, because they're just, it's, it's so high up and so beautifully created. Look on the trampoline, these big, like, inflatable walls. Can you see that? Yeah. That looks so fun. <laughs> so what you want to do is see the red tabs there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to pick up where the buffers are. Sorry, I kind of put it underneath here. Pick up where those are. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put your legs in these holes okay. here. Okay. And then it'll Pick up the red yeah. from there. Yeah. In that way. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this, babe. You got all that? Yeah. Nice. Send it. She's, she's laughing. That's a good sign. Off we go. Let's do it. Thank you. Oh man, it feels so unique the way that you move. It's comfortable too. There's no uh, for the for the well, maybe more so for the males. There's none of that uh, crutch stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, that's the spiral. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> oh, that's a drop. I like it.
Lava! The floor is lava! <laughs> what I'll get you to do, stand up, watch your head as you get up. That's it. How was it, mate? Yeah, it was cool, man. That's good. Um, yeah, I loved it. How do you am feel? I, okay? like, I feel like you everything did, is leaking. No, yeah, you did good. No, oh that's God. not from tears, though, right? No, it's from um, just how fast it moves. But <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. That was so much fun. Well done, beautiful. And it wasn't, yeah, they, they told me at the start it's more fun than scary. And I would say that's totally the case. So if you're umming and ahhing about it, like I was, and quite nervous, Take it from me, you can do it. Yeah, look at that, positivity. <laughs> Coming from the person that says she's scared of everything. I am scared of everything, but I generally give everything a try. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Oh look, and then we get a bit of the canopy circuit on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> bit springy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is just to get in. Wow. <laughs> so you keep your shoes on, even though it's a trampoline, it's obviously, it's all netting. Oh, that feels wicked. Whoa. Holy. <laughs> oh, my niece and nephew would love what? this. Tyler and Kenzie, I wish you could come and enjoy this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. This is silly fun. I was not expecting one to be so tired, two to be smiling so much. <laughs> this is awesome. So just 10 k's up the road is Erskine Falls. There's two options here. We can either walk five minutes down to see um, the falls from a lookout point five or <laughs> Oh, there's like 200 steps, but I think we're going to go for the, the short one. And the falls is apparently like 30 meters. We've seen photos of it and it does look stunning. And because it's been raining, I can hear it already. Because it's been raining, it probably looks even better. They're all warmed up for that. I should mention also, we're officially in the Great Otway National Park. Oh no. Ooh, snakes. Why did you sound excited? <laughs> Just a little bit of drama never hurt, eh? No, I don't think I've ever seen other than in uh, Bali. It's the only place I've ever seen in a snake house. just, yeah, that was literally in our villa, <laughs> just in the wild like this. So I would kind of be okay with that, I think. He is. Woohoo! <laughs> Swim in there after jumping around on that trampoline. Oh my gosh, I bet it's freezing. <laughs> I was like fully puffing after that. <laughs> Okay, so we just pulled into old Teddy's lookout on a whim and boy was it worth it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. This is like what you see on the promo poster for Great Ocean Road. This is like, this is it. Well, Lawn looks to be a bloody charmer. This must be a really popular holiday spot because there is so much going on here. There's like swimming pools and trampolines. There's a skate park back there. 
Some of the coolest looking restaurants uh, and cafes I think that we've seen, if I had to pick a spot so far on this trip, as far as we've driven to spend sort of the majority of time, or maybe to stay overnight, I think this would have been it. We're actually continuing on a little bit further, uh, but for now, we're gonna go down and get some pizza and beer, which we had sort of promised ourselves. But yeah, awesome, beautiful place right on the beach, just one of those charming, coastal, Aussie friendly, low key kind of towns. We've been saving ourselves, haven't we? Yeah. Whenever we go to a new place, place, place <laughs> we have to get pizza and beer, and this was like the perfect little spot that we found. It's called Pizza Pizza. Just and simple and minimal, eh? I like it. Oh, Casual. Look at the windows opening. We're literally being here 10 minutes early, just standing just around. Waiting. <laughs> We're the only people here. <laughs> what a day. That was huge and so much fun. Epic. So good. So we've got two pizzas coming, we've got pepperoni, and we've got a salami puzzle. I think so, yeah. Oh, we've got a spot by the fire and a couple of pepperonis. It doesn't get much better than Life this. Is this is such a nice way to wrap up the day. From here, I don't think we'll really film much more. We're basically going to head a little bit further along the coast to set up with our base for tonight so that we can then explore further yeah. from tomorrow. So we're staying at a place called Apollo Bay, the right? Apollo Bay, yeah. Can you remember the name of it? Blue... Blue Ocean Hotel or something? Motel? Sounds right. Yep. Yeah. So this is part one of what we think will be three or four videos from the Great Ocean Road. So check back for those, and we'll catch you. We'll catch you next time.